Hello, my name is Bob Binder. I'm a solution architect with x -Rite Incorporated. In today's webinar, we're going to take a look at the Color Cert Job Wizard. This is a tool that can be used to automate the creation of Color Cert jobs. I'm sure you will find this a huge benefit, so let's jump right in and take a look. Just as a quick review before we begin, a Color Cert job, or CCJ, as they are sometimes referred to, is the file that is delivered to the press operators for use on press to monitor print quality. A color cert job contains all of the tolerances used for production. Not just tolerances for the solid colors being measured, but for every metric being measured. These could include tone value, min dot, undertone, gray balance, and so forth. The color cert job also contains all of the standards or targets necessary for proper reproduction. Again, this would be the targets for solid colors and other metrics being used. Lastly, the color cert job contains metadata, including the option to display an image of the item being printed. The job wizard speeds the creation of CCJs by using a template upon which new jobs are created. This template contains the necessary tolerances. It contains placeholders for colors. Using the wizard, we have the ability to add or remove colors as necessary to match the specifications of the job being run. Finally, the wizard allows us to add any necessary metadata to our job. We also have a way to automate this process which I will demonstrate today. Let's take a look at how we use the job wizard in production. To begin, I've launched Color Cert. I'm going to click on Press Room Tools, and then I'm going to click on the Job Setup Wizard. Now when I do this, you'll notice the first screen asks me to select a template. I'm going to do so by clicking on the button here with the three dots which takes me to my folder for templates. I, in this case, have one template, which I'm going to select. I'm going to click Open to open this template. And what you can see now is these are the colors that are running on our job. I have this particular template set up with a substrate built into it and five placeholders for colors. If I need to switch, the substrate, I can do so by clicking on this drop down list and selecting a different substrate. Likewise, I'm going to change these placeholders to match the colors that I need to run. I'm going to do a couple of uh, different color options here to show you. If I need to reduce the number of colors, so let's say today that I'm running a three color job, I can simply click the minus sign down here to remove two of the colors. If I need to add a color, I can click on the plus sign. And then to change the placeholders to an actual color, again, I simply click on the drop down arrow and I select where I want to open this color from. So let me begin by selecting a spot color. I'm going to click on load spot color. This brings me out to the folder with all of my spot colors. And I am going to choose in this case, uh, let's choose the label Expo light orange. So I'm going to add that color and you can see just like that it added it to this job. I can also pull colors from Pantone Live. So I click on the drop down arrow. I'm going to go to load from Pantone Live. So let me grab a color from here. So I'm going to grab the Pantone pink and I'll select that. And let's add one more Pantone Live color. And this time I'm going to add a 347 green. And just so you know, we have a search window at the top. So I can enter in 347 and it will bring me right to it. So now I've got all of my colors selected. And now I'm going to click on continue. Okay, so now we need to add our metadata. There's several ways we can do this. One is obvious I can just type it in. At a minimum, I have to include a job name and a job number. That's what the two asterisks here show us. I also have the ability to copy and paste metadata from a spreadsheet. So, for example, if you have an MIS system, 
that would allow you to export your metadata in a spreadsheet format. I can just swipe over the appropriate uh, cells, copy it to my clipboard, and when I do that, this paste from clipboard button will become active. Clicking on that will paste in the data. Or what's even slicker, I have the ability to import a PDF file, which is the image of my job. And if we have metadata embedded in that PDF file, it will automatically populate these fields with that embedded data. So I've got an image here of a get set label. I'm just gonna drag it over to this field here, let go, and it drops the image in the job and it automatically populates all of my metadata fields. With that, I click on continue. It's time to save the job. So I simply, and you'll notice that it automatically populated the save as field with whatever information I had in the job name field. I click save and the CCJ or the color search job is saved. If I wanted to move into production, I could just simply click the measure tool and begin production. Or if I'm just building jobs for future use, I can click close, go back to press room tools and launch the wizard once again. All right, well hopefully you found today's webinar to be very beneficial. I'm sure that you're going to find that the incorporation of the job wizard into your workflow has the possibility of saving you a lot of time. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to get in contact with us. But hopefully I provided enough information today to get you started on your journey. Thank you.